एवरी वन हाउ यू ऑल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल सो आई वेलकम यू अगैन टू योर सोशल स्टडीज क्लास एंड टूडे विल कंटिन्यू विद चैप्टर नंबर थर्टीन दैट इज़ फूड फेस्टिवल्स फिल्म एंड गेम्स दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एंड इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन द पार्ट वन यू कैन चेक द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इन पार्ट वन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर वी डिस्कस्ड सम वेल नोन फूड्स एंड फेस्टिवल्स इन इंडिया एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी विल स्टडी अबाउट films and games in india so let's start with films in india films or cinema in today's world is the most popular and the strongest means of communication and entertainment millions of people watch cinema every day all over the world not only as a means of entertainment but also as an escape from the monotony boredom anxiety and troubles of life it has a very impressive content to explain the things through images sound actions characters caricature that is cartoon music dance stunts and many more films are the reflection of society films reflect many trends current virtues social struggles and patterns of living in a society culture is the prevailing condition of a society it is the medium through which society exposes on its values and importance so films and culture are interrelated and go hand in hand our indian films portray the essence of our society that is our culture these are the films through which the traditional values of the indian society cultural diversity and above all its unity is highlighted so let's discuss about indian films during freedom struggle during the times of freedom struggle cinema was used as a medium to show anger and voice the opinion of our nationalist leaders and parties demanding independence from the british rule then the indian cinema completely focused on mythological stories and great epics even the earliest films made in india were mythological like the first feature film of india that is raja harish chandra by dada saheb palke bollywood of that time showed the india which was both rural and traditionally rich and vibrant the traditional values and cultural celebrations formed the basis of the conservative indian cinema of that time films showcased relationships customs norms and ethics of our culture so now let's talk about today's movies today movies dish out what the youth wants and what the youth is inspired from again the cinema reflects our culture cinema is a part of the mass media that can greatly influence and affect the consensus of a nation it should therefore be used to preserve the cultural heritage of india in spite of the foreign flavor being added to the treatment of a film movies should be ethically appropriate and respect the sentiments of all the indians Indian cinema has been effective in promoting the rich heritage of Indian culture on the world map. Many international film festivals have hailed Indian movies as a special class type which can teach a lot about film ethics to the world. Many of the Indian films are getting international screening and being praised worldwide. Thus Indian films are performing a great role to educate the Indians largely. If we talk about types of movies, there have been notable films on many topics, but some of the most successful movies have been in the areas where film can add an extra dimension, such as the vivid settings of fantasy and space adventures or western movies. Love stories are always popular. The romantic Lesampur du Pagaji was made in German occupied France during World War 2 in 1979. French critics voted it the best French film ever made. In India there are many films made on romance like Ganga Jamuna, Avara and Om Shanti Om. 
If we talk about comedy films, the first films were silent. Yet the comic antiques of the actors made audiences roar with laughter. Today, comedies range from biting social commentaries to the gentle humor. In India, many films are made like Munna Bhai, MBBS, Angoor, etc. And if we talk about horror films, German filmmakers were the first to realize that audiences like being frightened. Directors were making horror movies in Germany by 1913. By the 1930s, horror had caught on in Hollywood, where it has been popular ever since. Frankenstein appeared in 1931. More than 100 films have been based on the same theme since. The recent horror movies liked by people are B. Salbad and Raz. So now let's talk about some well-known games and sports in India. Apart from modern games such as cricket, hockey, football, tennis, netball, basketball and others, India has many old and traditional games and sports. And these games have been played for centuries and many of them were even invented here. So first of all, let's talk about the game of chess. Actually, the game of chess has been played in India for many years. It was called the game of kings as kings and the noblemen and princes of the courts played such games. Chess was invented in India and it was first known as Chaturanga. Other indoor games which have been played here for many years are games with quarry shells and beads or seeds. These games are played on boards or even on the ground on which various patterns are drawn and the players have to throw the quarry shells to see how far to move along the board. And if we talk about the outdoor games, actually in the fields and on the streets of the towns and villages, many games are played. Some team games which are popular in India are Kabaddi and Kho Kho. Kite flying, that is Patang Bazi, is very popular at certain times of the year and so are the games of spinning a top that is called Lattu and games with marbles that is Golis. There are other games also such as blind man's buff and other games which involve running, hopping and catching. Another game which is played by children all over the country but is unheard of in foreign countries is Gulli Danda. This game is played with a gulli that is a small piece of wood sharpened at both ends and a danda that is a thin stick. Indian wrestling that is called Kushti has always been a well-liked sport. The bow and arrow that is called Tir Kaman too has provided great contests in the past. And if we talk about India at the games, then India had its modest share of pride when Abhinav Bindra became the first person from India to win an individual gold at the Olympics. Two other youngsters, that is wrestler Sushil Kumar and boxer Vijendra Singh, also exhibited promising talent by winning one bronze medal each. Sushil Kumar went on to win a silver medal in the next Olympics. India had won two Olympic medals in the 1952 Helsinki Games when the hockey team had won the gold medal and wrestler K.D. Jadav had won a bronze medal, a record which had stood for 56 years. India has won six medals in the 30th Olympics 2012 held in London. Two silver medals were won by Sushil Kumar and Vijay Kumar and four bronze medals were won by Gagan Narang, Sanya Nehwal, Mary Com and Yogeshwar Dutt. Also in 2016, at Rio Olympics, India won two medals, one silver and one bronze from P.V. Sindhu and Sakshi Malik respectively. Now let's talk about some milestones achieved by Indian players. Sachin Tendulkar is the only player in world to score more than 15,500 runs in test cricket. He is the first Indian and third international player after Alan Border and Brian Lara to score over 11,000 test runs. 
he scored the highest number of test centuries that is 51 and 49 ODI centuries bringing the total to outstanding 100 international centuries. Indian chess player Vishwanathan Anand became the only man in the 122 years old history of the World Chess Championship to win the world title in all three formats. Anand became the undisputed world champion in 2007 and beat Vladimir Kramnik of Russia and defended his title in November 2008. He then successfully defended his title in the World Chess Championship 2010 against Veselin Tepelov and in the World Chess Championship 2012 against Boris Gelfand. Anand was also conferred honorary doctorate by the Tamil Nadu Physical Education and Sports University in recognition of his outstanding achievements and contribution to the game. He was the first recipient of the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratan Award in 1991-92 and was also awarded India's second highest civilian award, the Padma Vibhushan. So these were some of the milestones achieved by some Indian players. So this is all about this chapter and I hope you have understood everything. And this is all for today and we'll meet once again in a new video with a new topic. Till then, take care, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.